My name is Ross Hampton. I'm Chief Executive Officer of the Australian Forest Products Association. And I was honoured to participate at COFO 26 as Chair of the FAO Advisory Committee on Sustainable Forest-Based Industries, the ACSFI. ACSFI is a statutory body established in 1960. We're comprised of senior executives from the global private forest sector. And our mandate is to support FAO in its mission to develop, support, and strengthen the forest sector and promote sustainable forest management. I'll mention the recent focus of the ACSFI in a few moments. Firstly, my congratulations to the organizers, delegates, and chair of COFO 26. This was a very important event held at a time when the issues we were discussing are becoming more profound, it seems, by the day. COFO delivered important outcomes in sustainable management and use of forest resources, resolved to strengthen forest fire management, discussed the importance of fighting deforestation and forest biodiversity loss, as well as restoring degraded lands and dry lands. We also heard the examination of the State of the World's Forests 2022, focused on forest pathways for green recovery and building inclusive, resilient and sustainable economies. COFO showed how we can solve interlinked challenges and build synergies between agriculture and forestry. For me, the main thread linking all these conversations was the importance of collectively combating climate change. And this is the area where COFO and the ongoing work of the ACSFI very clearly intersect. Alongside efforts to reduce deforestation, restore and reforest degraded lands, we all know we must switch from unsustainable fossil-based products to carbon storing renewable products. And we all know that trees, forests, and the things that they produce are those carbon storing products. But I feel we are not yet doing enough at global scale to turn this knowledge into action. ACSFI encourages all forestry nations, for example, to sign the Ministerial Statement on Sustainable Supply, which was released at the World Forestry Congress earlier this year. That would be a great start, but it wouldn't be enough. What is required to really bring about the fast change we need is private sector engagement and mobilisation of private sector resources. As our Director General, Mr. Chu Dong Yu said in launching the new strategy for private sector engagement last year, to meet the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, we need a rapid and massive increase in investment. Our Director General said the current 130 billion annual investment globally needs to quickly become 3.5 trillion. Now this is beyond the reach of any government but it's not beyond the reach of a well-regulated, but also well-encouraged private sector. The urgency of our shared mission is clear and ACSFI is doing what we can to bring attention to it. At the ACSFI, we have achieved significant success over the past two years with the release of our strategic framework 2020 to 2030, which I commend to you. This document articulates our strategic focus on the bioeconomy and commitment to ecosystem restoration. And in our advice and support to FAO in those two critical areas, the members of the ACSFI are grappling with two interlinked challenges. The first is the knowledge that we need to increase rapidly the available timber and fiber flowing from sustainable forest management systems. The second, just as important, is we know we need to do this in a manner which protects biodiversity enhances shared value, supports Indigenous communities, youth and women. The private sector is ready to step up to this challenge with new business models and finance platforms. We know it will not be a one size fits all as we seek to bring online greater fibre supplies and improve the efficiency of the fibre delivery. Increasing supplies will look different in Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa in Canada, in Southeast Asia or Brazil, New Zealand, or indeed Australia, where I am. And given the critical nature of this need for more supply, members of the ACSFI will be taking the message of keeping 1.5 alive through growing climate-smart forest-based bioeconomies 
to the upcoming Conference of the Parties in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. Wherever the trees and whatever the model, the FAO ACSFI stands ready to be the bridge between the private sector and the FAO to catalyze strategic actions and partnerships at all levels. Thank you.